Looking for who? Mr. To Fuck? Someone to fuck? Angel, is this another prank call? Ugh. Angel! Why is this so salty? <laughs> Angel! What? <laughs> Come on, Vaggy. Angel's pranks are getting out of control. Sure, they're a bit excessive. Someone's ought to do something about it. But they're harmless. That doesn't mean I need to see his porn collection. Hmm. He can't be rehabilitated if this keeps up. Okay. <laughs> if you want to teach him a lesson, what do you have in mind? I have an idea. Nugsy! Daddy's... Home? Huh? Hmm? Nugs? Hmm... Fair Nuggets? Where the hell is he? Looked everywhere for him. Hey, don't panic, Angel. Oh, probably just hiding somewhere. Huh? Hey, Al! Have you seen Fa- <gasps> What you eating? Well, you see, Angel, I was craving a little meat, but the store had nothing of interest. So I helped myself to what we had here. <gasps> yes, he was a delectable fellow. Put up quite a fight, too. <laughs> please, please. Tell me you're choking. <laughs> I'm afraid not, my dear. Alas, I suppose this is the consequence for such jovial pranks. <laughs> fuck! You thick fuck! You took away the only thing I've ever left! Not because of fucking prank! The Gola! Filio de Troia! Popinara! <laughs> Nugs! Oh my god! Oh my god! I thought... I thought you lost you for good! You're safe! You're here with me! You're always gonna be with here for me! I don't know what I'd do without you! Please! Please never let me be! Please! <laughs> Angel's pranks are getting out of control. Someone's ought to do something about it. Nugsy! Daddy! Huh? Well, you see, Angel, I was craving a little meat, but the store had nothing of interest. So I helped myself to what we had here. Fuck! You thick fuck! You took away the only thing I've ever left! Not because of fucking prank! Oh my god! Oh my god! I thought... I thought you lost you for good! You're safe! You're here with me! You're always gonna be with you for me! Okay, everyone! I know things have been a little bit tense around the hotel lately. So... We're vacationing on my parents' yacht! Cool. It's huge! Someone stop this beast! Al, you okay? Why is everything moving? It's <laughs> only been half an hour, and he's already seasick! Stop it, Oscar! <laughs> <laughs> the big bad radio demon. A man from Louisiana who can't handle being on a boat. <laughs> what a joke. Just because I'm from New Orleans does not mean I was on a boat on the- I'm sorry you feel bad, Alistair. Why don't you go lay down? 
you have your own bedroom you can use. <laughs> Hope you feel better soon. And try not to look out the windows. You may end up puking. <laughs> This is torture. When will this blasted boat stop moving? I can feel even the faintest of rocks. Why did the others have to see me like this? How humiliating. Damn that angel belittling me like that. But I am in no mood to skin him. I'd rather be out dancing with the ladies. Have a few drinks and some hors d'oeuvres. I need some air. Don't look out the window. Don't look out the window. Ah, ah, the breeze feels pleasant. I feel a little better already. Huh? Angel? Huh? Oh, no, great. great. What the fuck you doing here? Well, I did come for some fresh air, but it doesn't appear to be fresh anymore. You can't go to the other side of the fucking boat? This was closer. I didn't believe I'd make it. Mr. Radio Demon can't make the journey. Huh. <sighs> you look like shit and death warmed over. Brilliant observation. Not that I fucking care. Charlie scolded me after you left. Said it should be considerate. Boo fucking who, your tummy hurts. Sides, you don't deserve my fucking sympathy. Can't believe they expect me to be nice to you. Even after the shit you fucking pull. Ah, so that's what this is about. Duh. The fuck else would it be? Right. But why are you feeling so qualmish, Angel? You seemed vigorous as ever earlier. Ain't any of your business. But it sure as hell ain't seasickness. Sucks even more because I have took the damn good burger too. <gasps> Never mind, I regret asking. Real damn shame. Probably the best burger I ever had. All greasy and cheesy. Hmm, <sighs> that dribbly kind of grease. You would have loved it, Al. <laughs> ah, nothing tickles me more than screwing you fuckers. I'm sorry. What the hell did you just say? Listen, Angel. I know we both tend to get under each other's skin, and I have tried to hide it. But since that day, I had begun to believe that I had in fact gone too far. Charlie, she gave me quite the earful, and much more, and I'm not saying I didn't deserve it. Ever since she informed me of just how important the piglet was to you, I, I cannot stop seeing that broken look on your face. While I do find your line of work most distasteful, I have been ignorant to how it affects you, and so, for the first time since I fell, I regretted my actions. I truly, genuinely did not understand the bond you share with your companion. My... my mother, she... she wasn't too fond of pets. The closest thing I had to a pet were the bugs in the garden. I... I'll understand if you never forgive me, or trust me. I know I don't deserve either. But I just want you to know that I am truly sorry. Ah, <sighs> fuck. Either seriously mean that, or it's the nausea talking. You're right, though. It's not like I just take your word for it. For all I know, you and Charlie could just be bullshitting me. She... she already feels responsible. Despite not taking part in the act, she never attempted to stop me. But we... we both know she's not to blame for this. Instead of her or the others, take it out on me instead. Okay. <laughs> did... did that make you feel better? <laughs> it kinda did, yeah. <sighs> It's the water. Uh, pardon? <sighs> I can't believe I'm telling you this. So, as you probably know, I was born and raised in the mob. The five families they were called. 
we were close, but not in the way you think. Of course, being gay in the mob was heavily frowned upon, so I walked on thin ice every day. We did the usual legal shit. Gambling, alcohol, murder, especially murder. Popsy, he was creative in how he executed rivals. A particular favor of his was drowning him. Made him wear cement shoes and tossed him in. We'd be there. My brother, sister, and I. He'd have us watch. Since then, I wasn't too fond of the water. Usually better at managing. Spooked myself, I guess. Hmm. Tell me, why did you stay at the hotel? You had every reason to leave. Because, as much as I kind of hate you right now, there's someone out there I hate even more. <laughs> Um, did you know uh, what the ocean said to the sailor? Is he seriously trying to make a joke right now? Uh, what? Nothing. It just waved. <laughs> That's the lamest joke I ever had. <laughs> 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 Shit! Hold the whale out! Hold the whale! Christ! Why did you go static? God, if I had known both of you weren't fond of water or boats, I would have never suggested vacationing on the yachts! Eh, uh, it's been fun. Just a couple of mishaps. Best part was getting to carry Al's sorry ass inside. Ah, <laughs> uh, you had to be there. No, you didn't. Here, I made you both some tea. Thank you, nifty darling. Hey, why does he get his first? I know you don't care for tea much, Alistair, but it'll make your tummy feel better. Al, oh, we're headed back tomorrow. Can you make it through the night? Oh, of course, my dear. I'll be alright. So, I'm guessing you two are getting along now, huh? Eh, it's a work in progress, I guess. Hey, kid. Hmm? Think your pet wants you. Try to sleep and it won't shut up. Take it so I can go back to bed. Hey, cutie pie. Did you miss me? So handsome. You want to come spend time with daddy? Yes, you do. Hey, Fat Nuggets. What are you... Uh, hello. Can I help you? Uh, what the blazes? <laughs> Hun, why don't we give them some privacy and go to bed? Good night, guys. <laughs> Looks like he can tell you had a rough day. He does the same to me. Ah, wish I had my phone with me. I could have taken a pick. Alistair, are you... Are you getting emotional? <laughs> no, I am not! Shut your mouth! You totally are! Shut I up! I see tears! My eyes just got bothered! I can be allergic to the damn thing! Or your blasted fur! <laughs> yeah, you might want to take it easy, dumbass. You're still ill. I might be more unwell than I thought. Eh, I'm sure once you're back at the hotel, You'll be back to your old, pompous, asshole self. I could tell you now, that you meant what you said. Oh? How so? Because nobody talks about their ma like that and lies. Hmm. Is that so? Wait a damn minute! That means your little love tap was highly unnecessary! Well, yes and no. Besides, you said to take it out on you, right? I... I... <laughs> You're hopeless, you know that? Just shut up and help me to my room. Sure, Toots. Don't call me that. Oh, and Al? What? Apology accepted. Of course. <laughs>